Hi, what is up YouTube? Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you how I 3D printed a power bank holder for my camera rig. So this is the power bank I'm planning to use and I made a video on how to modify this power bank and add a DC output. So you can click on the link on the top right to check it out. And as you can see here, it does fit the rig pretty nicely. So this is uh, way better than using a V-mount battery pack which is much heavier and ergonomically less convenient. So I'm going to go ahead and design the case and uh, I'm going to speed through the process of uh, making the design because it's kind of a long process. So I don't make a long video but here I'm using SolidWorks for the design and I started by making a block and then a cutout. I'm just gonna go ahead and speed through the process so I don't make a boring video. So here the power bank has a battery indicator on the side. It uses a couple of LEDs to show uh, the charge level. So I'm going to make a cutout on the side so I can see that. So this is going to be the first draft of the design so I'm going to make sure it fits the power bank before I continue with the design. So here I'm just going to go ahead and slice it using Cura. And then I'm going to go ahead and load it into my 3D printer. So it printed without any issues and as you can see the model looks great. So let's go ahead and check the fit and as you can see it fits fine. The LEDs can be seen on the side and the profile is still nice. It doesn't stick out too much and it's low profile. So this is the screw I'm going to use to secure it to the frame of the cage. So yeah, now we can go ahead and continue with the design now that we know that everything fits. So this part is going to be used to mount the case to the frame of the cage.
and then I'm gonna print one more time to make sure that the design is good and the dimensions are matching the cage and as you can see here I'm using 15 millimeter rods and they fit to the case very well So the beam on the other side is going to be used to mount the screw. And as you can see the camera side handle is still working fine. Everything looks good so far except that it's still not secured to the frame so we can go on with the design Again, I'm going to make it round and nice on the edges. And at the base, I'm going to add a block so I can make sure that the area is strong enough to hold the weight of the power bank. Alright, and then we're back to 3D printing. So here I had an issue with the support coming off after a couple of hours of printing. So I had to change the support style to this tree style. And this time it worked with no issues. So the final design is 3D printed, so now we're going to go ahead and remove the support. So after removing the support, as you can see, the model looks nice. And I 3D printed it in black this time so it can match the cage. So let's go ahead and check the fit and as you can see it fits great, no issues, it fits fine, no V-mount needed and it's uh, a very good alternative to V-mount, it's lighter, it makes the camera a little bit one-sided but it's uh, fine. So here I'm going to go ahead and design a clip and make sure that the power bank is secure to uh, the case because when I tilt the camera up the power bank kind of slides down so I'm going to make sure it's safe and secure. clip is 3d printed now I'm gonna go ahead and test it and it fits fine 
So yeah, this is it on how a 3D printed the power bank case from a camera rig. If you found this useful, drop a like, subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching.